Scientists investigating the Yellowstone supervolcano have discovered movement deep in the crater, raising fears that the sleeping giant is about to erupt. The volcano located beneath Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming is capable of producing a massive eruption of magnitude 8. Some experts and locals believe it's about to erupt it. Researchers analyzing the supervolcano's crater, or caldera, found that the magma inside it is moving northeast, shifting the concentration of volcanic activity along with it. That means if the volcano were to erupt, it would be in this area, rather than in the previously warned area to the west. The Yellowstone Caldera is a 1,350 square mile crater in the west central part of the park that was formed when the volcano erupted violently hundreds of thousands of years ago. The team found that much of this magma is stored in a separate underground reservoir, preventing it from becoming concentrated enough to cause an eruption. While an eruption could occur to the northeast as a result of the shift, the researchers say their findings suggest the supervolcano is unlikely to erupt in our lifetimes. There's no single region of Yellowstone that's eruptible, says lead author Ninfa Bennington, a research geophysicist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Yellowstone has a lot of magma, but it's not very connected. Bennington and her colleagues conducted a large-scale magnetotelluric survey of the entire Yellowstone caldera. The technique works by listening to Earth's natural signals, such as radio waves and magnetic vibrations that originate from space or deep inside our planet. These signals change depending on what kind of stuff, like rock, water, or metal, is underground. This allows the researchers to peer into the crater and investigate what's really going on beneath the surface. Their results show that there are at least seven major areas of high magma content at depths between 2.5 and 30 miles below the surface, suggesting that these reservoirs are not eruptible. Previous research has suggested that there are two types of magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera. One is basaltic magma, which is typically produced by direct melting of Earth's mantle. Basaltic magma is easier to erupt because it has less resistance to flow. However, it is dense and buried deep beneath the Yellowstone caldera, meaning it is unlikely to cause an eruption there. The other type is rhyolitic magma, which is thicker and more resistant to flow because of its high silica content. Beneath Yellowstone, deep basaltic magma heats the surrounding rock which helps create rhyolitic magma closer to the surface. Rhyolite magma would need to build up a lot of pressure to erupt from Yellowstone. It has happened before. Over the past two million years, Yellowstone has produced three major caldera-forming eruptions, all of which were fueled by reservoirs of rhyolite magma. But that is unlikely to happen again, at least in our lifetimes, the researchers say. Based on the volume of rhyolite magma stored beneath the northeastern Yellowstone caldera and the region's direct connection to heat sources in the lower crust, the researchers conclude that the concentration of future rhyolite volcanic activity has shifted to the northeast.
This is a significant change. For the past 160,000 years, rhyolite volcanic activity has occurred across most of the Yellowstone caldera, except for this northeastern area. Because of the large volume of magma beneath the national park, this area will remain volcanically active. However, his research suggests that tourists need not worry about the threat of a major eruption anytime soon.